and then what is the total cost total cost is the sum of total fixed cost and total variable cost so total cost is equal to we just call it fixed cost plus variable cost it is implicit that there is a word total behind them right so we have a table one it shows hungry helen's cookie factory and by looking at this table there are many meaningful information here so if we do not have this row we can also find out that which cost belong to this one so here we have the columns here you can also find out what is fixed cost and what is variable cost so you look at that cost which is fixed with the level of output so you have we do have our output that is our output is increasing and this cost is fixed so we can say the cost of the factory is fixed cost and when you look at the cost of workers as compared to the output uh, output is increasing and cost of workers are also increasing you can see that this is variable cost so this total cost <laughs> is the sum of both fixed cost plus variable cost right so for those who do not understand where this 40 came from 40 came from fixed cost 30 plus 10 variable cost where this 80 came from 30 is the fixed cost 50 is the variable cost where the 60 came from 30 is the fixed cost <coughs> and the other 30 is variable cost okay so i'm just going to remove here and and here is our class activity 2 i just want you to pause the video and draw the output on x-axis and on y-axis please draw total cost so this column total cost and output is here right so draw it and then we match the graph in our next slide so our graph would be looking like this when you just connect this dot and you feel that at the end when you start when your production rises there are some points after some points of production your total cost start rising sharply right here we go so opposite side of the same coin so remember the total cost curve gets steeper as the amount of production rises steeper mean like this steeper the production function becomes flatter as amount of production rises like this this is called steeper this is called flatter so what is the meaning is the, that increasing workers means more sharing of same tools and space like crowded kitchen and also it is costly why because crowded kitchen will be shared by because we cannot increase the size of the factory we can only increase the production <coughs> <coughs> sorry by increasing number of workers we have a limited limited space when more work workers share those space and tools then <coughs> our production will be lower <coughs> <coughs> sorry about my cupping so opposite sign of the same coin when you look at that the total cost is going steeper right it's going steeper while the production function it goes flatter so when you flip it up then it would be flatter right like this so we call that production function and total cost the opposite side of the same coin okay now the other one that is what is average cost average cost can be determined by dividing from total cost with the output so the average cost is the cost of each typical unit of output and what is the formula for average cost average fixed cost is equal to fixed cost divided by quantity and what is the formula for average variable cost total variable cost divided by the quantity and what is the formula for average total cost total cost divided by the quantity
but we can also find out the average total cost by adding average fixed cost and average variable cost so we have two formulas for average total cost one is total cost divided by the quantity and one is average fixed cost plus average variable cost so here is the real deal that is what is marginal cost so you can also guess that what is marginal cost marginal means additional right or extra one unit extra or incremental so we can say that what is additional cost right so marginal cost measures the increase in total cost that arises from an extra unit of production so we can just say that what is the extra cost of producing one more unit in which we answer the following question that how much does it cost to produce an additional unit of output so marginal cost which means additional cost of producing one more unit that is called marginal cost okay i hope this makes sense and you understand that if you do not understand this please do write us in our wechat group as well so what is the formula for marginal cost it is a change in total cost divided by change in quantity simple and what is marginal product it is change in output divided by change in input so how these two are different in which we talk about the output in which we talk about marginal cost we talk about the cost so change in cost divided by change in quantity so here we go we have uh, table 2 which shows the various measures of cost of thirsty thermos lemonade stand so we have here the quantity and we have total cost so now your target is to find out the marginal cost so where this <coughs> point 30 came from <coughs> sorry what is the formula for marginal cost change in total cost divided by change in quantity so marginal cost is so let's talk about solve this where this point 30 came from what is the change in total cost we have 3.30 minus 3 divided by 1 minus 0 answer is 0 0.30 and where this 1.3 came from here the change in total cost is 7.80 minus 6.50 divided by 6 minus 5 answer will be 1.30 right so this is how we calculate our marginal cost so here are the other measures of different various measures of the cost that is we have total cost we have fixed cost we have variable cost so even if we are not given this column let me just remove it here if even if we are not given this column of fixed cost even then we can calculate that how because at zero production uh, our cost is three right so remember the definition of fixed cost so that do not vary with the level of production even then the the, the production is zero you still have to pay that right so in this case the total cost would be uh, the fixed cost would be three okay let me just remove that so <coughs> if we have variable cost we have fixed cost can we find out the average cost yes how where this average cost came from so <coughs> average fixed cost so three divided by one answer is here three so 3 divided by 2 answer is 1.5 where this point 0.6 came from point 0.6 came from 3 divided by 5 and where this point 0.33 three came from 0.33 three three came from 3 divided by 9 right and when we look at this average variable cost where this point 0.40 came from point 0.40 came from variable cost point 8 divided by the quantity 2 where this 0.6 came from 2.4 divided by 
four where this point nine came from it is six point three divided by seven where this one point <coughs> sorry one point one zero came from it is nine point nine zero divided by nine right now here's the deal how this average cost is calculated we have two options one is average fixed cost plus average variable cost is, is equal to average total cost so when you add it 3 plus 0.3 is 3.3 .3, where this 1.35 came from 0.75 plus 0.6 where this 1.33 came from 0.43 plus 0.90 right the other is that you have total cost divided by number of units so we have here where this 3.3 came from 3.3 divided by 1 where this 1.3 came from is 6.5 divided by 5 where this 1.38 came from is 11 divided by 8 so it's up to you whether you follow this average total cost is equal to average fixed cost plus average variable cost or you can follow what is average total cost is equal to total cost divided by quantity the answer is the same okay let's move further so we have a class activity 3 as well and that is you draw output on x-axis and on y-axis you draw marginal cost and average cost which means all the average cost which is average fixed cost average variable cost average total cost so the idea is that you have to draw like this only on one graph the y-axis would be the cost all the cost in which you have to draw marginal cost average fixed cost every variable cost every total cost against the output here so the output is on the x-axis and we'll match our answer in our next slide